Alright, next we'll show you how to create and use assemblies within Planner. Assemblies are groups of plants or other objects that we can uh, group together and save them to our database for later use. Now on the current plan, I have a, a tree ring here that has uh, about 100 uh, boulders surrounding it. And I'd like to create an assembly with this grouping. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on the, uh, the area here. And you'll see that there's uh, a lot of stones in here. And it would be very tedious to go in and place these individually. So let's go ahead and select them as a group. And the way that we do this is we hold down on our mouse button and we drag a rectangle around it like so. If we wanted to remove items from the grouping, what we can do is hold down on the shift key and then click on the items that we want to remove. Like if we wanted to remove just the two shrubs here. Okay. So now if I'm ready to create the assembly, we can do a right click above the grouping and we can go down to create assembly. And what it wants here is us to name the assembly. So let's go ahead and call it a boulder ring and we'll uh, scroll down through the list here and you'll see that uh, I have uh, a lot of boulders in this assembly and then down at the bottom here we have the, uh, the barberry uh, shrubs uh, that we had in the middle of the assembly there. Okay, so let me go ahead and click OK and that should save the assembly. Now to confirm that I can go over to the content librarian under the assemblies tab and you'll see here that I now have a boulder ring assembly. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this window and open up a brand new project. Okay, and if we drag that assembly over, we can drop it on our project just like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Okay, and you can see here that the boulders are individually selectable, and so are the shrubs. The significance of that is that uh, we saved it as a group, uh, a grouping of an assembly, but uh, Pro Landscape it keeps track of all these items so that when we're ready to create a proposal, all the items will be itemized on the proposal and not saved as a single grouping. And that's how we create assemblies within Planner.